What is up everybody? I'm back playing more Warcraft Pet Battle PvP. Today we're using the Sneaky Marmot. This is actually a request from someone that watched the videos and left a comment on the channel. They left a comment on a couple of the a couple of the videos and they said, could you do a video with the Sneaky Marmot? Their name is the Sneaky Marmot. So I had to go check out this pet. Um, it's a pet that's actually always stealthed, which I, just, which I think is really cool since I usually play a rogue. Uh, it gets burrows, it gets blinds, it gets like regular, you know, jabs at dragons or chomps to hit undeads, which is pretty standard. And it's a power power variety. So in terms of like rodents, this is probably one of the better like critter rodents in the game. It's comparable to like, you know, like a, like a hare or a bunny, but it just packs a little bit more of a punch and it has a little bit more style since it's always stealth because it's a pretty sneaky guy. So we're gonna try and get some wins with it today. What I'm gonna try and do is use Dazzling Dance to enable not only the Sneaky Marmot using a 276 speed, which is like faster than Anubisauce, but also like a Son of Seath um, or Seth or however you're gonna pronounce that to just outspeed most pets. And then from there, just try to roll people over after we get just a little bit of speed control. So we're gonna hop right into it. Wish me luck. Here we go. All right, triple critter guy with the noble garden bunny. Nice. That's actually a really, really cool pet. Um, what do we want to open with here? I think there's nothing wrong with just opening up with the fox kit. I think it's just a good pet overall versus these. It lets us get a little bit of a speed advantage here. I wonder if we're going to lose a speed tie first off. Because we want that dazzle and then we want to crouch. So let's see. Lovebird hatchling. I don't think I've fought against one of these in a long time. Yeah, we should be fine here against like pretty much everything that they have. Oh. Alright, we lost the speed tie. Second beast damage non-all active pets. That's a really cool. It's a five-round cooldown, but like that's a good one. Um, we don't need to like crouch until we see them go for like a Hawkeye. Alright, two hit. Actually, that's a that's a low roll. Alright, so is that a stun? Alright, just switch out then. Um, yeah, we'll just switch here and we'll go for the, uh, I will figure it out. Critter versus Critter. What you got, buddy? We can dodge that attack next turn. I wonder if we dodge it, like, if it even, no, it'll still work. So we can dodge the Love Struck when we need to. I'm just going to go for this now. I think it just does good damage versus all these guys. We want to use as many of these as possible because it's just 621 to 931. That's just so much damage. That's nah, a low roll, but it's fine. All right, and then we will probably think about just two attacks, and then we can find and then do one more attack, and we're good. Oh my gosh, that just got the KO. That's such a high roll. <laughs> Sneaky Marmot, big busted. All right, so we can use this to dodge the burrow whenever we feel like it, right? We do outspeed this guy for the next few turns. So hit burrow, or hit dodge. Burrow, awesome. So we just... Uh, Actually, does that work? I don't know if that works like that. That's fine. I'll just go back out to the Alpine Fox kit and reapply the Dazzle. Oof. We actually have speed here. There's no reason for us to have to go for a cower yet because like they're probably trying to dodge. Only a two hit. There's the dodge. We'll go for cower Dazzle and then we'll be good. They get two hits. I don't see why they get to have all the two hits. We still don't need to dazzle yet. Oh, three hitter. Yeah, we actually didn't need to dazzle that turn. I'm an idiot. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Beast passive. Come on. Country roads, take me home. Give me that speed boost. Never freaking lucky. Holy moly. I'm so unlucky with flurries. It hits one and two times, and then an additional time if it's first. So since I'm going first... It hits, like, I, we, we might as well just throw up a random dazzle, lose it, and then bring it to Marmot to finish off. That's still so bad, though. Never, never, ever lucky. I wonder if they're going to save it. We have nine rounds. They can't think about it. Yeah, it's another high roll there. All right, so their next pet up here is... Do you have a burrow here? Do you have a stampede called darkness crouch? All right. That's fine. We just can go for a chomp then. I mean, they might call darkness, but it won't get the KO. Yeah, darkness is fine. Three HP. That's it. We would have been. We would have lived it anyways. And so they probably have crouch. I'm gonna go for this anyways. If you have crouch, you have crouch. Cause like Seath 
Even though it's like lowering healing, it'll be fine. Okay, this went for an attack. Big damage. And then it's the crouch. We can't realistically wait this out, but it's actually still better to Blinding Powder here, I think. Um, just because it'll give us less time on the weather. And it'll mean, like, Seath can come out and actually just go for damage. So we're going to lose this guy here on court. And then Seath's going to have to Country Road to take us home here. Oh, wait, we... Oh, they missed again. Oh, we take those. We win then. Cool. Cool beans. Oh, yeah. Sneaky Marmoth. Yo, sneaking around, getting those big wins. That's what I like to see. I'm going to die. <laughs> Oh no, I'm, a, I'm in resto right now. All right, last battle against Anubisoth, Unburned Valk, and Mechanical Pet Dragon League. I haven't seen this person around a little bit recently. Flurry's not good against the Anubisoth, right? Man, this Anubisoth's actually going to tear me up. I'm going to lead Seath. Am I going to lead Seath? There we go. All right. So Seath versus Anubisoth, that's the matchup that I'd like to see. Um, we're just going to go for the Touchy Animus and then try to use Absorbs to wait out the Sandstorm. That's kind of just the idea. I mean, that's what I hope would work. 666, six, six. that's so much. We can actually go for one Drain Blood. Hopefully I hit it. Deflect, good play. Nothing I can do about that. Yeah, the fact that they outspeed us here is actually really bad. If they just have a base... I can't risk going into the Alpine Boxling, not doing any damage, and then like having to switch the seat back in. So like, the best I can do is just hopefully hit all these. Awesome. It's a big heal. Like, you see, we can just kind of wait them out, hopefully. We just have to keep hitting our moves. That's the thing. Yeah, they have to switch the Valk, and then this is the turn we'll switch to the Fox. Awesome. That's actually really good. The fact that we didn't just lose to Sandstorm is great. So I think their moves... I've fought this guy before. He uses Curse of Doom and Unholy Ascension. He actually doesn't have Haunt. So that means that we can just go for a Flurry here and Dazzle one whenever we need to. So this guy uses... It's not Bombing Ground. I think he uses Call Lightning on this guy. So let's just keep hitting. Three hits. Nice. Decoy. We'll just take the decoy out. Awesome. Decoy. See, it's his free switch into this guy. Oh, that's a two hit. That sucks. We got the one hit. One to two and then like... Yeah. All right. Decoy down. Big damage here. Can't do anything about it. Curse of Doom's ticking too. Oof. Yeah, I'm gonna throw up I'm gonna throw up a fadeaway um dazzle and then go into Seath. I mean that's a good play from them. They actually did a really good job. Ooh, they missed. Cool. Uh, I, I get free damage here if I want it, or I can save this. I will save. Seath can just come in and be a good good pet here. Ow. Have to hit this. That's the game. Ninety oh, percent. Yeah, that's really bad. Like we're that's gonna lose us the game though. Like it is. I mean, they, maybe that miss is gonna equalize it, but like that's really really bad. Really bad. Really really bad. Drains ten percent. Doesn't do enough. I don't think. I heal for three hundred of. I heal for like three hundred if I do this. They have deflect up though. It's a good heal. Sandstorm here. I can't do anything about that. I can just try to outvalue them. I just gotta hit all my moves. Maybe hope they miss one more. No! Gosh, I've missed so many moves. They missed two. Like, ugh. Oh. oh, this is just the worst. Yeah. Heal me? I didn't know if that would work like that. I didn't know if it says like when we get attacked, we get healed. Oh man, that's Anubisoth. Is getting so, he's missed he's literally dodged like three attacks that if I would have hit with that first touch of animus like we would have had the game over because now we have to go into this guy and this this is just not good sandstorm's up in two turns so we can use that to block but like I really don't like this chomp's really bad we'll just go for the burrow and the thing is like I just don't think we have the pets to get out of this deflects on cooldown like bro you gotta you gotta eat it yeah and then like the thing here is you're gonna go for a sandstorm we'll block it oh my gosh they actually use the right move they just use the auto attack good play i can't i can't do it i can high roll this i can high roll it. let's go high roll no oh my gosh oh 
like, bro, like, I almost have shots. This is good for Sun Dead. I straight up almost have shots. I'm getting so, so, so unlucky recently. This one did really do here. Yeah, they just set up the decoy and I can't really do anything about it. Box one. Box two. Does not matter what we use. He missed one. Wow. Guess it did matter. See how much damage we get here. 407 is good. I mean, it's static damage, right? Actually, is that a roll roll? That's super low, right? 407 in the sandstorm to source. That's a super low roll. Uh, they outspeed. I mean, we lose. Damn, we almost had. Like, I feel if we would have just gotten a little... If we would have hit that one touch of Animus, we would have won the game, I think. I could, I guess I can high roll this, because I have my passive up. But then they're just going to... The thing about machines... I mean, let's just go for it anyways. They, he's going to get to reactivate his passive. We didn't even get the three hit! Yo, never lucky, man. Never, ever, ever, ever lucky. Man, that was pretty not lucky. All right, I'm fine running back to Critterville. Let's see. I think, though, that the Alpine Fox kit was good. Um, being able to set up the Dazzle Dance was really, really good for enabling Seath and the Sticky Marmot, so we're going to do that again. And I don't think that I can realistically, like, block that much from the Pheromones. I think Pheromones is really good. I think I might want to use one of these pets soon. Maybe it's just good because it's, like, super effective against something. But let's see what they want to lead with. Yeah, they're going to do the exact same thing. I do not need to set any sort of dazzle. Actually, I do need to set dazzle or speed time. All right, so let's play this one just a little bit cleaner. There was one turn where I could have played that a little bit cleaner and actually not lost a pet, I think. So we're going to try that in this one. And we're going to see what they want to do. Maybe they'll play cleaner too. You know, I mean, there's things they might fix. Oh, they just pass it up? That's fine with me. I don't care. I'll take these wins. Wins for me. You can chill here all day, buddy. Finally get my three hits when it doesn't matter. Alright, there's the pheromones. It's just gonna stun, so I don't have to do anything spectacular. Alright, switch to the rabbit. I can cower on the burrow. So much damage. There's my three hits, yo. That's so good for me. I can also just reactivate the... Uh, you can just reactivate the Dazzle. We should reactivate the Dazzle soon. That's so much damage to our back row. They just scoop it up. We still take those. Uh, Pheromones is good, um, but... Pheromones is good, but Alpine Foxling is just a little bit better. It's been a while since I've seen a triple water team. That's really cool. Get it? Cool? Water? Let's see. Animus is not going to be that great, but I think I'm going to leave with it because it's just not that useful in that many other situations. Um, especially if it's like a crab, like we can just go for a touch of animus and just like switch. So we'll see. Bubble block. That's fine. Anyway, it's absolutely fine. Just block two attacks here. And then we'll take a little bit of damage and get a full heal and then switch out. There you go, play. Yeah, that, that totally works. Like I'm, I'm just wasting their cooldowns right now. They're not actually even getting anything out of this. So let's see. I think you just want to stay in here and just go for a random attack because it's just free healing. It's not that much. It's only like 500 of my health. All right, and so now they can only use Pinch for two turns. Do we have any moves that are super effective? We do not. It's fine. Uh, we can just come in and dazzle it up. So you want to dazzle first. Oof, that's so much damage. Man, cra crabs are just the best pet in the game, I think. This little pet is just going to 1v1 our whole team. At least we have Beast Passive now and we're faster. And we only get a 2-hit, never lucky. Alright, dive's up for them. But, like, this is going to do a lot. 3 hits, nice. There's the dive. Alright, so we can redazzle here. We won't die this turn, I think, because this is the last turn of our crouch. Awesome, and then we'll finish him off next turn. Cool. I'm, I'm good with that. That's good for me. I will actually take it. And actually, our crouch is back up if we need it, but I think I'm just going to go for a regular attack. All right, buddy, what you got? You got another bubble? All right, so another bubble on a fast or slower pet. That's fine. Yep, this is good. Three hit would be nice. Never lucky. All right, 
water jet. They have mudslide I have to watch out for. Seat is like okay, but I'd rather just save it. No, I'm gonna come and go for the touch of animus. Like we outspeed, might as well put it to good use right now and just go for this big cooldown. 358 with like the ability to heal every single time they hit me is really nice. It's strong. I didn't see that being stronger, so I'm dead. I'm such an idiot. That's really the only damaging move on there that they had on the whole team. That's like such my fault. It's fine. My fault. I'm probably gonna that's probably gonna throw me the game here. And they bubble on my freaking turn there. Great. Yeah, it's gonna lose me the one this one, I think. Block. Hits. Block hits. Yep. Okay. Still blind it for next round. Now, if I were to... We have to not low, low, low roll. There's the mudslide. Alright, cool. Alright, alright. We have our blind up now, too. Okay, and we do outspeed by, like, three. Pet cannot be swapped mudslide. I think we just open up with one attack and then blind next turn. Because, like, I don't think they're going to cool down here. Oh no, we're a critter. Healing wave, cleansing rain. That's the thing is like we want to just use the blind case they're going to attack. Like they're going to heal soon, right? They're not going to heal ever. All right, well this gets us into our dive. So like we got shots. We got shots. Critical damage is increased by 25%. Give me that crit, yo. Give me a high roll. Give me a high roll. Heal. Okay. Frog's kiss. I can just dive. Let's go! Oh, come on, Sneaky Marble. Let me get this. Let me get this. Come on. Mm, no, the low roll! No! <laughs> no, the low roll, man. We had it. That was the lowest roll, right? Oh, that was, like, the lowest roll. Hold on. Like, that did... It did... I'm gonna die. Great. Um, 450 was what that did. The low roll is 414. Oh man, that sucks. Oh, we were so close.